Hi everyone, it's Andrea and welcome to day 16 of Vlogmas. Today we're going to do a colour and catch up because we haven't done one for a while. <coughs> so today we're going to be colouring in Creative Haven's Vintage Christmas Greetings colouring book, which is really nice. And the artist is Marty Noble. Um, and I'm going to be using uh, the Tombow uh, Rodeson today because somebody asked me to, to show what they were like on camera so it's not a tutorial or anything like that it's just that uh, somebody asked what they were like because they're thinking of buying them so we are going to do this cute little picture here and we're going to use the Tombows on various sections so I think we'll start up here I've got my colour chart here as well for them, so I know what one I'm looking at. So I'm looking at volume two, Cherry Red. I want that one. I love this one. Um, that's this one. I've used this one quite a bit, actually. This one's getting quite short, because <laughs> I do like the colour. And we're going to do this little girl's coat in this red. So we'll just take a, a, I'll just make it nice and sharp. I put nail polish on and I've already cracked it. I'm hopeless. Trying to do five million things at once, that's my problem. So we just have a nice light shade with this one to start with. You can't see what I'm doing because I'm off the page. There we go. So these um <coughs> these pencils are a little bit harder than the Prisma colours or the colour softs. But they have some lovely colours in them. Now they come in sets of three. There are three sets of three. And each packet has ten pencils. So you get 90 in total of them. They are lovely colours. And there's a pale set. There's a, what they call a very pale set. And there's a fluorescent set. I don't think we're using fluorescence on <coughs> excuse me this particular set of pictures just because it's a vintage one so but so this is a very light layer this is me I mean I'm, I'm not putting on hardly any pressure at all so as you can see the color goes down very nicely I actually do quite like these pencils I mean, as I said before, there's no real skin tones in there, but you can kind of, kind of get a skin tone. We'll look at that later. I can't remember what colours I used when I did the last time. So, so I hope you enjoyed yesterday's little concert video. That was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. And that's me done now for work. I don't have to go back to the office at all for a year unless I actually want to. Which is very strange. So Paul's gone out to meet a friend he hasn't seen for a while for a drink today. That's why I'm doing this on a Saturday. As you can see, there's washing going on in the background because, you know, it's still got to get done somehow. So, <clears throat> what I will do is I will leave links to the book and the pencils in the description box below if you want to. You can go and purchase them from Amazon. I mean that, <coughs> you have to excuse me, I've got a bit of a throat today. And that's where I got my pencils and this book from. Just so you know that if you do purchase using the links, I am an Amazon affiliate and I will get a small um, commission. It's very small. It doesn't cost you anything. And any money, if I do make any money, it takes a long time, I will 
obviously put it back into buying more books either reading books or colouring books and supplies probably colouring books because I love colouring books and there are so many of them coming out all the time it's amazing that there's still so many different colouring books coming out and so many fantastic artists I have not done much colouring this week just simply because of the uh, things going on like with the carol concert and, and then with the problem with the plumbing on Tuesday that was horrendous so it is quite, I've only finished like three pictures, I've got two on the go, a Christmas one, so you'll see them all at the end of the month. Once we get to Boxing Day I'll probably stop with the Christmas pictures, finish off whatever I'm doing and then I've got some whips I want to try and finish, I'll try and finish some of them by the end of the year. So I'm currently reading Stephen King's Christine. That's the last book in this year's Stephen King Readathon. We'll read along. <laughs> Missy over at the Binge Reader um, has been running for the last year. She's fantastic, mind. She's so much fun. Um, and in fact, she's my recommended um, YouTuber for the day. Every now and again I recommend a YouTuber and it's going to be Missy the Binge Reader. She's so much fun, like, like for Halloween month, for October, she just dresses up every day and it's so much fun. So yeah, I totally recommend Missy. So I will, if I remember, because I know I'm notorious at remembering things, I'll put a link to her channel. In the description box below as well as with as the uh, link so you can go and purchase the Tombow pencils and the book so as you can see it is a lovely color red but it's quite hard and I don't want to press too hard it's nice I've still got some wrapping to do uh, um, Christmas presents to wrap and I've got birthday presents as well because it's my brother's birthday on Boxing Day and my dad's birthday on Christmas Eve and I haven't wrapped them we're getting their Christmas cards this and birthday cards this weekend so we're going to be doing this picture over the next week and we will just use the, the Tombows on it. Like I said, they are, they are very hard and they, they can hurt your hands a little bit, but uh, it's not that bad. They're not that bad at all. So I, I like them. I've got to be honest though, the most ones I've been using lately have been the Polychromos because they're new. haven't used the feel as much yet, so Maybe I use the feelers. I got another picture out that I want to colour. I can't remember which one it was. Oh, it was one of the Jade Summer ones in her Christmas book. So maybe I will actually get the feelers out and use that. It's just that at the moment I haven't got them in a pencil case. And it's very awkward to get them out of the box because the box is very flimsy. Same with these ones. <coughs> and the polychromos, I haven't got them out yet. I haven't got them a case, so I do need to get a case for all of those pencils. Oops, just knocked the camera in my head. Oh, the washing's finished, so I'll get it in the dryer in a bit. Oh, it's exciting, isn't it, doing the washing? It's got to be done though, wouldn't it?
It is an awkward angle for colouring on though, I find. But, uh, so that's all nice. This is Cherry Red. So this is from volume two. Because they're like in volumes, like books. And in fact, Erudit and uh, translates into like colour encyclopedia or something like that. <coughs> so that's what it means. Obviously, for the harder you press, the brighter the colour. But right now, I don't want to press too hard. Just put another layer on. This red. So as you can see, this is only a second layer and it's looking quite nice. A bit more in there. So now just a bit more orange juice. So are you all ready for Christmas? I've probably asked you this every single time we've made a video. <coughs> but I know that um, some people are very, very organized and do it really early and some people, they leave it to the last minute. I'm sort of, do, I'm sort of in between. <laughs> I get some of it done really early and then some of it I uh, don't get to last minute's cards. I'm terrible for not getting until the last minute because hey, there's just so many of them and I just get fed up with looking. <laughs> oh, it's terrible, but there we are. I gotta be honest, I haven't watched many Christmas movies. I don't tend to, I tend to watch um, Meet Me in St. Louis. And it's a wonderful life. And then at Christmas Day, I spend the day watching whatever movies are on the, the TV. Usually it's something like the Polar Express. I love that film. So that'll do for now. And I can't get in as close as I'd like, so I can still see a bit of white, but we can go in over that later. Let's see this one I want. Crimson is next. So we've got some lovely colours in this. And we got some different I'm just gonna go around the edges here. Just to give it a bit more. depth to the colour and sometimes it is just a matter of layering two colours together to get what you want Yeah, that's nice. So we've done two layers of cherry red and now we're just putting a layer of crimson over the top. Not worried about shading and highlighting. This is just to show you how these pencils go down, really. You can shade and highlight with them. For instance, if I was going to, I would just do that. Just to keep it a bit, but I'm actually going to go over the whole of the, the coat. And then I'll show you a different colour. So. 
So anyway, everybody's going on about The Last Jedi, so I haven't seen it yet. I'm hoping to go and sit with my brother. And then if we can, if we could, we'll go on a Sunday morning. And then go out for lunch. Um, two Wagamamas. Afterwards. Hopefully. I mean, there's a lot of um, concern at the moment or chatter about Disney taking over 20th Century Fox and the Fox uh, Corporation. Um, yeah, I mean, classic movie lovers are wondering about that um, because they'll own all the the back catalogue. Basically, in the news reports you read, that they, 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 the news reports only go back as far as the 80s as if that's it for Fox. Fox is actually old, older than they even state in because they're saying it was formed in 1935 as 20th, 20th Century Fox, but it, it was... Before that, there was two separate motion pictures company. There were 20th Century Pictures and there were Fox Pictures, which was run by William Fox. And then they merged in 35 and became 20th Century Fox, as we know it now. So, of course, they own all of the Betty Grable back catalogue and the Marilyn films now. So I know that the Marilyn community is wondering what that, that's going to mean for... Marilyn fans, are they going to reissue her films? Will it all be ignored because it's Disney and Disney are, you know, or will they, you know, will they put out some good merchandise? Will we get some nice stuff? Remember now that they only own the films, they don't actually own Marilyn's image. So it'll be interesting to see if they do anything with it. I would like to see some new merchandise. I think it'd be nice, nice release of the films. I mean, it's 2018 next year. A lot of the films are very old now, so it's, uh, I know it annoys and angers some film historians that, uh, People who claim to be into classic movies only go back as far as the 80s, which is not classic. They are getting there, but they are not classic. They are just films. So that's cherry and crimson mixed together. That's quite nice red. I'm going to have a blue now from volume two. One number seven, which you think should be this one. Kingfisher, it's a sharpen up a bit. So they have some lovely colour names in here and some lovely colours. So we're going to go over here for Kingfisher and do this coat, which is not a very big coat, mine's in the corner here. There we are, let me just go in. Here we are. But it's a lovely colour. Sorry for the big girls, gotta pull the little girl along. Lazy little tyke. <laughs> I'm actually thinking, where's my go? I wanna go in the sled. 
or in the box. It is a sled. I want to go. Off here. You can imagine the conversation. Take your little sister out, pull her along in the sled. Do I have to? Yes, dear, you do. So let me just, that's just it, really. There's not really anything else there. It probably is a bit there, but there's no line on it. So there's a bit under here. That's going to be a coat still. So peaceful. I might watch a film after I finish doing this, but I think I might watch The Seven Year Itch. Oh, there's no business that show, but it's something Marilyn. I haven't watched Marilyn for a long time. So I think I might watch a Marilyn film. What are the blues have we got? There's a dark blue after that one, Lapis Lazuli. Is it this one? No, it's number eight. That one. <coughs> so you can see they, they're very nice colours. Like I said, I haven't used these very much so it's nice to sit and have a go with them and I think one of the reasons why we don't use these very much is you can't buy them open stock so you have to buy the sets which I mean they're not expensive they're about 20 pounds a set for the thirty for thirty pencils, which I don't think is too bad. I think I'll do her dress in this colour. So we go back over here. It's a nice dark blue. Um. But yeah, so. I mean, I can see I've used up a lot of, of, quite a bit of cherry red, and there's a green one in there I've used up quite a bit of, um, from volume two, which is in the first set, but I'd have to buy the, the whole three sets, but, you know, I mean, you just keep them and just pull them out as and when you need them. I, I'm not in any way close to finishing any of these pencils yet. There's a few in the colour softs that are getting short and the prisma colours but uh, not too worried about these so. so I'm not pushing horrendously hard and I'm getting some nice colour on this page I like this blue I did pick a fiddly bit, didn't I? But it's got to be done, so if we're doing it on camera, we might as well do some of the fiddly bits. Um, we're alright, we're at 24 minutes, so we haven't done a huge long video yet, so... May Christmas bring you loads of joy. Do you think it will? Do you think she's going to be joyous or is she going to be a miserable cat? What do you think? I suppose it depends how far she's got to pull her, her sister along. I am keeping an eye on it because I know that the, ca the camera can overheat and it'll switch off. And You'll miss half of it. Not that it's too mad at the moment because it's... I've just coloured it around these blinking spots. Oh, 
Nice colour though. <coughs> and another drink. Yeah, I think we'll just get this fiddly bit out of the way. And then we'll leave it for today. And then on um, Monday, I think I might do it again. We'll come in and I'll do their faces and see if we can't get um, it looking somewhat flesh coloured using what we've got in here. Normally I would just go and get um, the flesh coloured polychromos or um, a peach from the Prismacolors. But uh, for this video and this demonstration of uh, the erosions, we'll just use those. I know it's doable because I've done it before. Uh, so are you using lots of glitter on your Christmas pictures this time? I mean, we use glitter all year round, but Christmas you can go mad with it. I've used some on a couple of them. And I'm doing one in the Edwina McNamee Tin and Oleg book of some uh, ornaments. So I will be using some stickles and glitter on there but uh, some of them you wouldn't I might put a bit on the snow on here make it the snow sparkle a bit when I get to that oh it's very very peaceful I like it I like the quiet. I don't like Christmas shopping um, this close to Christmas. I don't like going out. Um, I, I don't mind going to food shopping, which is boring all year round. But I don't like really going into town. It's too busy. And I don't like it. I'm not. I'm not good in the crowds and the sales and everything. I just don't see the point. If you don't need it the rest of the year, you don't need it now. I mean, I need some bits and pieces and I'll be going in, unfortunately, uh, over to the retail park in the week. I don't really want to go this time of year, but I need some bits and pieces, so I will be going. But, uh, yeah, get a few odds and sods, as we say, over here and uh, have a cup of tea or some lunch with my mum, she's coming with me. Ooh, I am still very tired. I don't know what it is. Time of year, I think. And I think it's just, it's cold out there and I'm not going outside. I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> I'm just going to stay in and colour and, and read, so that's what I'm doing today. So I'm do this, then I'm going to do some reading. I'm going to sort some washing out and do some boring household stuff, but that's got to be done anyway, regardless of what time of year it is. And then when Paul gets back, we'll have some dinner. It'll just be some frozen pizzas today. So I'll have mine before, probably before he gets home. Depends what time he says he's coming home, if it's really it. See, the camera stopped automatically and I don't know why. So I've just put it back on again. I was just saying that tonight we'll have pizza when Paul gets back in. Um, he'll hopefully be home around seven-ish, which isn't late. 
but we are into Christmas party season now and it gets a bit stupid out there. And he just got out for his friend. His friend's wife drove him into Cardiff because she had to go and do something. So they've met up for a beer. And when she's done, she'll bring him her husband and say, time to go home now. And then Paul will catch the train. He'll text me to say he's on his way. So you see, I've done all that. I haven't sharpened the pencil. I've still got quite a nice... Come on, focus. Not a bad point on it. I don't know why it's not focusing properly. Um, so the colour's going down really nicely. So yeah, this is a fiddly bit of the dress. <laughs> it's a bit of a, oh. I'm nearly done. Because this is quite fiddly, it's taken us a little bit longer than normal. So we're not going to get much done today because I don't want this video being so long because A it takes a long time to edit and then it takes a fair while to upload although not as bad since I've been doing it as MPGs or whatever they're called. Um, it does use up a lot of bandwidth and I can't get anything else done while I'm uploading <laughs> it's a nightmare. Don't, oops we've gone out of focus again. Come back. Thank you. It's got a bloomer showing. It's a bit naughty. Just need to notice that. So I haven't since the last haul bought very many books. I've bought just bought the one which was the Hannah Lynn book. I've been really good. There's things I'm looking at and I'm not buying them. Not just colouring stuff. Um, obviously I've got to get next the next lot of books for the Stephen King 2018 readathon. Because I don't have any of the books on the list. And there's uh, yeah. So I've got the first three in my cart on Amazon ready to order when I get paid. So I'll have them for the new year. And uh, yeah, that's the main thing. That's my phone going off. I wonder if that's Paul. Let's have a quick look. One sec. Yeah. But he's not coming up yet. So I'll just finish off this dress and I can text him back. Oh, so, yeah, it's looking nice. I might go over it again. Well, I might do that off camera, but it'll only be with this blue, I would imagine. You just don't you don't want to see me go over this dress again, it's just too fussy. It's a nice colour though. This is Lapis Lazuli, I think. Yeah. But as you see it's not evenly done because of the way that's why I would normally go over it again to even it out. But I can do that another time. Um. 
Otherwise, I'll be here all day doing it. You don't want to see me keep carrying the same patch over and over and over and over again. And I need, <coughs> I need to really get in a lot closer to have a look at it to, to get it all nice. Saying that though, her dress wouldn't be evenly coloured all the way around because of the way the light would fall on it, but... I, I'm not that like that, you see, I don't care. nearly done so that's taken us around 35 minutes just to do that I think it's hard to tell because obviously when the camera goes off it starts recounting because you have to restart it but if it just counts carries on counting it does it all the way through so let's just have a quick look at what we've done so we've done we haven't done very much at all but um we did do the fiddly bit. Like I said, I'll go over this myself later. Probably this evening when I've got time. Sit on the sofa and do it. So that's all for this one. What we'll do is in the next one, we'll, we'll do their faces. And see what else we can do. It's not a hugely complicated picture, this one. The only thing complicated is the, the spots on her dress. So it's not too difficult. So we've got a nice bit bigger sky. We've got some fences here with a bit of snow on it but not too much and then we got the snow which is nice and easy to do I'll put some glitter on there just to make the snow sparkle so that's it for this colour and catch up I hope you've enjoyed it I hope you um, uh, can see how the, the erodotins go down and uh, obviously we'll do some more with them next time we pick up the the book and do it again which will probably be Monday or so I will definitely have a go on it Monday I believe so I will see you then we'll see some more colours um if you want to see all the erodison colours if you want me to show you all the colour palettes um like for instance this one is number nine and they're set up like that I I, I can show you them but uh, just let me know if you want to see that um by leaving a comment down below um and enjoy whatever it is you're colouring this weekend and I will see you all very very soon. Bye now!